Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Cynthia with a new Girl Accent video. And on my channel, I talk all things that celebrate the commitment, the loyalty, and the support of the sisterhood by planning events and sharing entertaining ideas. And if that is something that is of interest to you, you have tuned into the right channel. So y'all, the holidays are approaching and the days or the weeks are starting to feel like just a few days and so I've got to get into gear and start my planning and one of the things that I do to kick off my holiday is to visit the market and to purchase me some collard greens and so right now the collard greens are absolutely beautiful and so I've already gone ahead and I purchased a couple of bundles and you know they've been washing since last night y'all so y'all know how we do it you know you stem them Okay, so you got to stem, and after you stem, then you look and make sure you don't have any discoloration, and then you stack them up, you stack the leaves on top of each other, right? And then you roll them up, you roll them up real tight, and then you just chop them up real thin, right? So I've already done that, and I have my greens uh, in a huge pot, and they are um, soaking, and so I soak my collard greens in a piece of onion, and uh, a little bit of apple cider vinegar and i do that to mask the smell so y'all know and i know y'all know okay that after about two or three washes the collard greens start smelling it smells your whole entire house right and so what i do to mask the smell is i'll take a piece of onion and i'll take a, take a little bit of, of uh, apple cider vinegar and I just, you know, put that in my greens and just let them soak. And so um, let me know what your tips are to mask that smell when you are, you know, prepping your greens. OK, and so my collard greens um, have been soaking and um, I think I'm up to about the sixth wash. Y'all, I think I got about another six or seven more washes to go. And then I'll start to bag them up, freeze them, and then they'll be all ready. So that's what I do to kick off my holiday event, my holiday preparation. All right. So now in the meantime, okay, y'all, I've decided to change. Oh, I take that back. Let me, I stand corrected. My daughter, okay, told me that I needed to change out the Christmas decor because, you know, I've been rocking the, the, um, silver and white for the last four or five years and she's like mom it's about time for you to come up with some other colors okay because you know the, the silver and whites played out so i was like okay so i went out and purchased you know some different colors so i have a different color theme going on and so i just went out and just what i did initially was just purchase a whole bunch of stuff and needs three colors right so today I said, you know what, don't buy any more stuff, Cynthia, because you don't even know what you have. And so you got to get your, your table together. And um, so I said, I'm going to start being targeted after today, you know, with the decor that I buy. And I want to do that on a budget too, y'all, right? So, but anywho, so uh, I went and purchased, you know, some items. And so I want to start off with, you know, um, um, decorating my table. Okay, so I want y'all to help me. I just, like I said, I just purchased some stuff. I'm going to show you all of the items that I have, and I still have a few more items to purchase, but I'm gonna show you all of the items that I have, and I'm gonna try to put them together. I may not get through it on this video, so stay tuned for part two, because I want you to see the final result, right? So, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead, get started, but first, but first, let me just say this. If you have not tuned into my channel, Girl Accent, please go ahead and subscribe. If you don't mind sharing, liking, go ahead, leave any comments, you know, in the in, in the box below. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you so much for all of you have, who have already subscribed to my channel. I appreciate you dearly. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you all of the decor that I purchased for my table. Okay, I have no idea where I'm going to put what. I just purchased a whole bunch of stuff, like I said, and I'm going to work it out. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you that. And also stay tuned for part two. I'm going to show you the final result. But before I begin, I want to show you my pot of collards that I have currently soaking in some apple cider vinegar and a little piece of onion. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to pour me up a mimosa. 
Okay, everybody, I am back. I have all my ingredients for my mimosa. Super simple. All I have in here is uh, part orange juice, part cranberry juice. This is about three ounces, okay? I have my carafe, some St. Germain's, and Prosecco. Now, I normally use Prosecco. I don't like using champagne in my mimosa because it gives me a headache, okay? I just prefer Prosecco, but use champagne. And also, I have some basil, okay? When I tell you this is going to enhance your mimosa flavor, try it and see if you like it, okay? So, and for some reason, they say if you tap, slap your basil, it releases the flavors. It releases the flavors. Now, I can't say honestly if it do or not, but I do know it enhances the flavors. So I'm just gonna put this right on in my carafe, pour my juice, <coughs> excuse me. I'm gonna put my champagne in first. Did y'all hear that pop? That's some fresh champagne right there. Y'all see those bubbles? That's how you know it's going to be good. And then I just splash it off with some St. Germain's. Just top it off. How cute is that? How cute is that carafe? And of course, you always have to sample to make sure. Cheers. So refreshing. That basil does it for me. It does it for me. All right, y'all. So I'm about to show y'all my pot of collard greens that I have been soaking since last night. Just to kind of give you a visual. Just to show you what I got going on on top of the stove. Okay, y'all, so here are my pot of greens. This is about two gallon. This is a two gallon pot, okay? So as I told y'all, they have been soaking since overnight. There's my piece of onion, and I have some apple cider vinegar. And so I just, you know, wash, 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 rinse, you know, transfer them from one pot to the other pot, transfer them from one pot to the other pot. And so... Uh, like I said, I'm on my sixth wash and I have probably another six or seven to go. And sometimes I don't count. I just continue to rinse, wash, rinse, repeat until my water is clear. Once my water is clear, then I know my collards are clean. And then that's when I will bag them and freeze them. So this is the start of my holiday. Yep. Start of my holiday, my house does not smell like collard greens because of the apple cider vinegar and the uh, piece of onion I have in there. So just wanted to give you a sneak peek of what's to come now. I'm about to show you my holiday decor. Stay tuned. Let me go get everything together so I can show you really quick. Okay, y'all, so I am back and just wanted to show you the area that I am trying to decorate for the Christmas holiday. So um, this is my dining area. And so I am going to remove everything from the table. And then I'm going to show you the tablecloth and then show you the items um, that I have for the table. So, let me clear everything off. Okay, so we have a tablecloth, okay, and it has a little gold embellishment in the design here, and um, this is the actual tablecloth by Waterford. Um, so 
So it seats eight to 10 people. Okay, so let's pull this one out. And this is going to be like a little dry run for this. I'm going to wash this tablecloth and have it steamed. So, because I hate having um, wrinkles and lines in my tablecloth. So this is just going to be a little test run just to see um, what I'm working with. So yeah, this is a little dry run. See what what else is left to buy. Okay. And um, those unique pieces that I need to buy. So I'm gonna just start putting everything on the table so you can see what I'm working with. They play off of each other. So you have the uh, gold base here with the little, uh, or the black base with the little gold knobs. And then you have the opposite of the um, gold base with the black knobs. So I like how that kind of plays off of it. And then I have these, these Christmas tree candles, which I'm going to light. So light those. And I have this uh, tree, one Christmas little tree. And I love this right here. Yeah, it just, the light just bounces off of it and it just, you know, blings out. So I like that, okay. Then I have my chargers for my plate mat. So we'll have uh, the chargers here for all the seating. Yeah, that's my chargers. Okay, and then I have this piece right here. I thought this was a cute little reindeer. And it's got a little, uh, let me move this back here. Move this out of the way. A little reindeer. And it's a little cup here, so you can put like mint, you know, little candies in there. I thought that was cute. A little reindeer. And I have a set of black reindeer. How cute, how cute are these? You see that bling on them? They got a little, look at that, that little gold metallic bling on the little antlers. Isn't that cute? I had to have these. Had to have, cute, 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 okay. So y'all, okay, so here are my colors, right? My colors are, as you can see, you see one prominent color, 
But my colors are this royal blue. All right. Then I have this bronze type of color, right? So it's royal blue, bronze, and gold. Those are the colors. Those are the three colors that I'm working with. Now, I do have a little splash of black, but I just couldn't resist. I couldn't resist the candle holders. I, I just couldn't, y'all. So I had to go on and, and purchase those. But so, but my main colors are royal blue, this bronze kind of brown color, and then of course we have our gold color, right? So the plan is, y'all, to take these um, ornaments and I'm going to spread them in the middle of my table, right? I'm going to put those in the middle of the table and, okay, I'm going to move some stuff out the way here so you can see. Okay, so we got that there, and here are my two reindeer and my other reindeer. So you can see I'm going to take these here. These are kind of going to be a centerpiece. What I'm going to do with these is I think I'm going to take these two, because I have four. I'm going to take these two, and these are going to be sp spread in the middle, and I'm going to do the opposite so that they look like this. And they're going to lay right in the middle right here on, on my table. That I think that's what I'm going to do. So I, I'm not sure right now. But I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. And so I have some, some smaller blue bulbs. And what I was thinking about doing was, and I don't know how this is going to look. But I was thinking about taking these blue bulbs and just trying to just see if I can hang them in here, right? Hang them up, hang them in here on this on this tree. So we have those. And I have some uh, cinnamon scented little ornamental type of uh, cones, pine cones. I'm just gonna spread those out just so that I can have the scent. And then I have these, uh, I have two of these. They, you know, uh, you could wrap these around the base of a candle, right? So like something like this, you know, I may do something like this. See, I could, uh, let's see, can I, oh, I could do something like this, right? And then I can take that candle like that, right? I don't know, y'all. We're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see how it's going to work. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. So what we're going to, we have these two uh, little wreaths where I can wrap around a candle or I can wrap it around the base of the base of something. So I have two of those, right? So like I said, y'all, I don't even know. I don't even know, but we're going to work it out. I'm going to show y'all the final result. And then I have like, uh, how cute is this, y'all? This is a wine jacket. Isn't that cute? Let me show y'all what it looks like with the bottle horn. parka a little parka so i got a little jacket for my 
my wine bottle. How cute is that? Oh, okay, I need to, it's got a little hood on it, you know, so you can put the little hood, a little Parker hood on my, hold on, y'all, let me just take this off real quick. I really want y'all to see how this is going to look. I'll zip up. How cute is that? I have two of these, so I'll have my wine, a little Parker jacket for my wine bottle. Cute, cute, cute. Couldn't leave those in the store. I had to, had to pull those on out. So anyway, y'all, so this is what I have so far. And then, of course, I have uh, some garland with some lights. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with that. But I feel like I need some more of this royal blue color. Because too much, I have too much gold. But, y'all, I'm going to work it out. I'm going to make one more run to the store. And um, or one more run to the to the uh, to the shops, and we're gonna get some more uh, bulbs. And so these bulbs I'm gonna use on my Christmas tree. These two packs right here, I'm gonna use on my Christmas tree. This bronze pack and this royal blue. I have some more uh, that I purchased, but I didn't get that. And y'all, I have these big, huge, these huge. Uh, uh, gold bulbs. They're going to look so cute on my Christmas tree. So, but for right now, I'm just trying to get my dining room area straight. So, all right, y'all. Let me know what you think. Stay tuned. The next time I record this video, I'm going to have my whole entire table complete. And then I'm going to start on my, I'm going to start trimming my tree. Okay, so you can get a little closer view of what I have so far. Remember I said I had white and gold and, no, white and silver. My daughter said you got to get rid of the white and silver. And so I started purchasing some items. Love those candle holders. Got those from Home Goods, by the way. And there are my gold chargers. And I just love, matter of fact, these reindeer are one of the first things that I picked up. I hadn't even decided on a color scheme yet, but I just loved them. So I was like, I gotta have them. And uh, so like I said, I'm gonna use those pieces there for the base of a candle or the base of something. But I, I like those because they kind of match um, these items right here. I'm gonna use these and kind of spread these out on my table so they can you know, be my main centerpiece. And then um, there were my um, candles, my Christmas tree candles. And then, like I said, these two colors here, this bronze color and this royal blue color is going to be my color scheme. So bronze, royal blue, and gold It's going to be on my Christmas tree. So I thought I would, you know, make sure that that, you know, intertwine with my other decor uh, on my table. So those are a couple of trees. Okay. And I really love this. When that light hits, and you can probably see it a little bit, but when that light hits this tree right here, I love the crystals on there. Those are nice. There's my other candle holder, and I just really love how this candle holder plays off of this candle holder right here. So it's just the opposite. So like this is a play off of the, uh, let me put them side by side so you can really see the contrast. Okay. So yeah, see how the base of the one, the taller one is black and then it has the gold bulbs. And then the other one has the gold base with the black bulbs. So, yeah. So, y'all, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. And stay tuned for part two. So my next video is going to have my dining room area completely decorated. Again, thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, until next time, see you soon.